frugal friends. I'm Starla from lifefullandfrugal.com. At lifefullandfrugal.com, we teach you to live a healthier, happier lifestyle on less. From healthy whole food recipes to gardening and home decor, we're your one-stop shop for all things full and frugal. If that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to our channel. So we're going to talk about frugal must-haves for a fully stocked pantry. Now, I love to cook, and one of the best things that you can do if you love to cook is have a well-stocked pantry. I don't like to think too much about what I need. I'm one of those people who likes to have more than one of everything. A lot of times we have people over for dinner or supper or lunch, and they'll say, oh, how did you make that? Or where did you get that? And I just realized more and more that most young ladies and even older moms don't really have a very well stocked kitchen. It's really important if you want to make nutritious meals. One of the things I really encourage you to do, if you're going to be a baker, start looking at your sale papers around the holidays. Now the big holiday coming up would be Easter and people do a lot of baking around Easter. Grocery stores will have sales on butter, on sugar and flour and just staples that you need because they're must-haves if you're gonna do any baking. One of the things I do is in our community, we have a local Mennonite grocery store and I start looking for baking ingredients around October because the must-haves are things you can put away, you can either freeze or just keep in your pantry. So I like to stock up on flour and sugar, but also things like muffin cups. You're gonna be making muffins, the little papers, uh, chocolate chips, nuts of all kinds. You know, sometimes you can find really nice vanilla on sale. So those are things that I like to stock up on. They're really important if you want to quickly bake something. Plus, we always have sourdough on hand, and so we do a lot of sourdough baking. So if you wanna do any kind of baking, you want to kind of have those must-haves and stock up on them, especially because we live in the country. We don't go to town very often, and it's just nice to be able to run to the pantry and get what you need. Condiments are a big thing. We really like to go to Asian markets. We usually take a trip to the closest biggest city to us is Columbus, and we love to go there and go to the Asian market different Indian ethnic markets and buy spices in bulk, buy lots of different condiments like different soy sauce, sesame oil, different kinds of vinegars. We make all of our own salad dressings, so it's very important to have a mix of oils and vinegars and spices, lots of different mustards. Those are so important if you're going to make homemade salad dressings. We have been a part of the Weston Price Group since the early 2000s, and that is one of the best things that you can start implementing in your diet is a homemade dressings, uh, salad dressings, because the commercial ones are so bad for you. They are laced with MSG, high fructose corn syrup, and the most rancid oils that you could possibly get. And so if you are on a journey to better health, I really encourage you to start making your own salad dressings. They're very simple. We make all of our sauces. We make our own tartar sauce. We make our own mayonnaise. We make all of those things. Some other things that I think everyone should keep in your pantry are things like tuna, canned tuna and olive oil. We grew up on tuna salad um, with hard boiled eggs and uh, sweet pickle relish. Sweet pickle relish is something we make from our cucumbers in our garden. It's just so good to make your own tuna salad and it's very inexpensive and it's very nutritious. I just encourage everyone to have cans of tuna. I like it packed in olive oil so that's what we get. It's really good to have like things like uh, anchovies packed in olive oil on hand. I know people think, oh, that's gross. Well, we make homemade Caesar salad dressing and that's a very essential ingredient for making Caesar salad dressing. So that's something we always have. It's really nice to have fire roasted peppers on hand. Those are great to throw in pasta. We also have lacto-fermented dill pickles. I could eat jars of them alone. Those are great because you can put them in basically any kind of different salad. 
or just have them as a side. Sometimes we have canned sardines. We fried those up before like a little tapas. Those are wonderful too. We always have canned beans. It's really nice. We like to make our own hummus. So you want some cans of garbanzo beans. Uh, we always have olive oil on hand. It's nice to have salt around, especially if you do any fermenting, you want some extra salt on hand. Just the list is just important because those things you can run to your pantry and grab them and just make a meal out of those things. Another thing that's really great to have is some sweetened condensed milk, evaporated milk, coconut milk, coconut cream. Those are things that are quick to pull out and make into quick desserts. If you do any Asian cooking at all, um, you're gonna wanna have some sweetened condensed milk. Sweetened condensed milk is a great base for homemade ice creams that you can quickly make and just by putting them in the freezer. That's a tip from Nigella Lawson that I've learned. It's really nice to have coconut milk around and riches soups. It makes a great base for smoothies. It's a great milk substitute if you're just out of milk. And that's one of the reasons why we keep evaporated milk around. Sometimes you just run out of cream. So we have a can of evaporated milk for um, coffee and tea. Those are just things that are kind of just, you don't always think about, but they're really nice to have. We always have tons of spices on hand. One of my sisters used to work in a spice house. We have a wonderful local um, health food store right down the road as well. And we just love spices. I can't stress this enough. As much spices as you can buy, it's always nice to have a few of them ground, but you know, like whole cloves, whole cinnamon sticks, red pepper flakes, you know, black pepper. We like to make homemade Indian spice chai, so we need lots of different whole spices. And then we love to cook, so you're gonna, when you love to cook, you're gonna really need a big spice pantry. My mother grew up in the South in Louisiana where my sister Shanna's from, and so we grew up with very well seasoned food. And I really encourage you to buy spices in bulk, get some glass jars, we just recycle glass jars, fill them up, get some smaller jars to keep around in the kitchen, and then always have a bulk supply of spices and dried herbs. I'm gonna try my hand at this uh, summer drying some of my own herbs. I've never done that, so. But I highly recommend, you know, the list in uh, the blog post, just the must-haves of the spice list is really, really good. You'll be able to make a lot of different things with those spices and sweet spices and savory as well. Drinks are a must have of your pantry. Let's face it, drinks are extremely expensive at the grocery store and it's just so much more frugal to make your own drinks at home. So we have all kinds of different coffee. We have regular coffee, we have espresso, and also we love to make uh, kombucha. So we have tons of different types of teas not to mention the fact that I'm a tea drinker, so we have all different kinds of tea. And then we always keep fresh ginger on hand. I know it's it's uh, maybe not thought of as a drink, but we make homemade ginger ale. And then something my mom always kept around was bottles of lemon juice. Now, I know it's not probably everybody's favorite. Lemons are really expensive where we live in the North. So a bottle of lemon juice makes a quick drink. You can make a gallon of lemonade from it easily. And that was something we grew up with. And there's just sometimes you don't have any lemons and it's great to have a splash of lemon. So again, drinks are something, I am, I'm always surprised at how much money people spend on drinks when it's so much easier to make your own tea to make your own coffee, make your own coffee drinks, and even start fermenting some of these things and make your own bubbly drinks as well. So I highly recommend the must-haves for your well-stocked pantry include drinks. It's really important if you wanna save money, and live a more frugal lifestyle. I'm gonna go back to my childhood again and say, Snacks are something that a lot of people spend a lot of money on, and I I really encourage you to keep something very simple in your pantry, and that's popcorn. Popcorn is great. It's, it's a non-GMO food, and it's great because you can cook a big batch of it um, on your stove with refined coconut oil, with some butter and sea salt. It's a delicious snack, and I just highly recommend having that around. And some nuts, like peanuts, you could toss those in as well into a big batch of homemade popcorn. 
for the perishable items, I, I don't even know how you cook without having all these things around. I think my number one thing that you must have around is butter and get butter on sale. Again, around the holidays, a lot of grocery stores run sales on butter. Buy as much as you um, can afford, put it in plastic bags and freeze it. Um, that was a trick my mom, we always had butter, always, always, always. And she would always buy it on sale and freeze it. My second right behind butter would be onions. I mean, I don't know what meal you can even make savory without an onion. And then behind that would be garlic. I think it's just great to have a whole chicken around, bacon around, get bacon on sale or, and freeze it. It freezes really nicely. Eggs, you know, get yourself some ducks or chickens if you want really good eggs or support somebody who has them. These items are so essential to making a meal and you should always have them around. Carrots, potatoes, cabbage, onions, garlic. I like to keep celery because we make our own stock. Plus all of those things are a great base for making soups. It's such a frugal way to make a great meal very quickly. Everyone should have ground pork and ground beef. And you can make meatballs up, meatloaf, you can make a quick soup, you can make spaghetti sauce, you can make all kinds of things from those very inexpensively too. And I highly recommend and encourage you, if you can afford it, go in and find a local farmer in your area that you can either buy a half a hog from or a whole one or a quarter of a beef or half a beef or even a whole beef or split it with a friend. It's That's such a great idea. It's so economical and then you'll know where your meat is coming from. So those are my must-haves that I really think are very important to have a well-stocked kitchen. So anyway, I just hope that you enjoyed that. Please look in the description box below where you will find some helpful links and you can also find the full blog post for this at lifewomanfrugal.com and also check out our free printables as well. Thanks so much.